Alrighty, fans of Ottawa, welcome back to another GM mode commentary with your Ottawa Senators. And here we are, boys, back in the playoffs. After two years of disappointment, we are finally back here. And in round number one, we are going up against the New York Rangers. So you can see there, New York Rangers, 45, 33, and 4. Looks like they struggle in the regular season. Speaking of that, let's recap on last episode just so you guys know what's going on. So you can see there are 49, 22, and 11. Not a bad record. You know, it's, it's not bad. But if we go to this, uh, the stats here, you can see actually we did way more better than I thought we did. We won the President's Trophy this year. We won it again. For uh, my second time as GM for the Senators, we won the President's Trophy. So that's a good job for them. But that doesn't matter now. We have the playoffs to focus on. And in round number one. We're going up against the New York Rangers. So let's take a look at their lines before we get into it. And yeah, I mean, New York Rangers, good old rivalry here between these Senators and Rangers. These two teams have battled a lot in the playoffs. So line number one for them, we got Miller, Zabinijad, and Alan Scrivens, six-foot sniper, drafted him third overall, 2021. Let's see how he's done with them. Pretty good. Those are some good point totals. He's definitely brought their team back to, back to a play, playable level. He's, you know, he's got good all-around stats, so... It's good to see they draft somebody good on the second line. We got Ryan Gropp, Elias Anderson, Nikolai Godobin. I mean, Anderson and Godobin are, they, they can be on that second line, but I don't know about Gropp, man. Yeah, it says he's listed as a fourth liner. What kind of numbers did he put up? He had 30 points, and as we have Snapchat going off, that's great. Um, Yeah, so not a really strong second line. Third line, Zykov Brown, we traded him there, remember that, and Chason. So... This team has good center depth, but their wingers, they, they need more. They got 579s, and I don't know, man. I don't think that's very good. Zykov, I mean, has good offensive stats, but I really don't uh, see him as a threat, nor Chason. And then the fourth line, D Deming. Didn't we have this guy? No, Rangers did. Ooh, he's kind of a bust. It's looking like 13th overall. Hasn't even gotten 80 yet, and he's going on 22, 23. Or he's going on 23, but he's 22 right now. And then they got, oh, this is an inch. Why is he on the fourth line? Okay, we got Brady Gar, Gar Garguillo. I don't even know, but he put up, he, he had him on the fourth line. You know, he was only able to put up 45 points. I bet you he could have put, put up more if he was playing on the second line or third line. And then, yep, there's Trent Archer, our uh, late round draft steal that we decided to give up on. Put up 32 points. Not bad, but I don't think we would have needed him. So. There's the offense, of course. So the big threat is that first line and then Godobin. Maybe maybe this guy on the fourth line here. I mean, what kind of numbers has Zabinijad put up? I mean, fairly good numbers from what I'm seeing. I mean, he had a big injury there, but I mean, he's played... Or wait, no, that's, that's the season before. But from what I can see here, you know, he's stayed healthy and he's put up good numbers. So they can't be complaining. How's JT Miller? I know he's on the Lightning now in real life. He's, he's doing fine for him. So... They got here for a reason. They're barely in, but they're in. So defensively, um, oh, Ryan McDonough is gone. So we got Shea and Shattenkirk on the top here, which is not bad. And Igor Kadoblin, drafted in the sixth round, 164th overall. It's not bad. He's an offensive defenseman. He put up 32 points this year. Not bad for a second year coming into the NHL. And then they got uh, Tony D'Angelo. I know he can put up good numbers. Yeah, I see like 40 points. That's not bad. And I'm, I'm, I bet they're happy having him, but... He's maybe not grown all the way they wanted him to. And then we got uh, Brandon Mackey, another potential bust here. Offensive defenseman, 79 overall. 13, 9th overall, like I said. I mean, I don't know. And then, whoa, with uh, this, yeah, what the heck. And then Cowie, they must have an injury. Maybe he's out with an injury. So their defense score is a little bit weaker, but Shea and Shattenkirk can put up some good numbers as defensemen, especially Shattenkirk. I know he, yeah, he can, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he can put up some good numbers. So we got to watch out for their, uh, their top blue line right there. Then in net, we got, oh, okay, so they have somehow got him from uh, the Buffalo Sabres. Utho, Pekin, Pekka, Wukinen, 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 I don't know. They somehow got him, and, well, here he is. So he's the starting goaltender for the New York Rangers, and they got Calvin Picard backing him up. So good one-two punch in net, but they have Froughton, uh, Chytil, and Bushnevich that are healthy scratches. Well, you have these two third liners. You have Bushnevich scratched. He's not injured. Why wouldn't you? Why? Who knows the computers, man? But yeah, this team is a little interesting. So they don't have Ryan McDonough. Henrik Lundqvist probably has been gone, but it's an interesting team. Like I said, they barely made it into the playoffs. Wait a minute, let's back up. Let's take a look at where they finished in the season. I want to see what seed what seed they are. Um, entire league. Okay, New York Rangers. I mean, 
Boston's in, Anaheim's in, and Kyle. Like, look at all these teams. Like, they, this Winnipeg barely had a 500 record. So, compared to how other teams did, they're, they're a standard team. So, we'll see how we can do. You know, we are the President's Trophy winners. We have a lot of, um, have, have a lot of weight on our shoulders in this first round to get by the Rangers. But, I never know what can happen. Let's just start, start strong here in game one. Come on, boys. First period. There we go. Kopitar and Bieska. 2 and nothing start for the uh, the Ottawa Senators. Shots are 7-17. to 17. Pile the shots on them. That's good. Second period. Already Eric Carlson, the captain, but Sabinijad gets one. Shots 10-29. to 29. Let's simulate the third. See how the team can do. Alrighty, so we're piling the shots on them. I like that. We're not giving them chances. Power play gets killed off, though. We got a power play now. Okay, gets killed off there. Coming down the halfway mark of the third period, and we are just piling all the shots we can on them. I like it, boys. I like it. Highly offensive this game. We are 40 shots before regulation ended. Very good job, boys. And we take a 3-1 to one win with 42 shots. Not the goaltender's fault there. Defense needs to step up a bit more. So, Perenko to Kopitar, White and Verona to Bieska, White and Bieska to Carlson. So... Good to see you boys. Good to see that they're doing well. And Biesco, White, and Kopitar are your three stars for game number one. Alrighty, I like that start. That's a very positive way. No. Oh. Colin White with a mild concussion. His estimated return is April 15th. That's not good, boys. He just had a great game, too. Alrighty, do we bring up Kopitar to the first line? I say we do it. That sucks. That sucks, man. So I'll just show you all the line changes. Line changes. <laughs> Words are hard. Line changes. I'm gonna make here. So, who's got better faceoffs? Okay, Derek Broussard has better faceoffs. So, okay, we obviously don't want him there. So let's get um. Nope, no, no. Get Kopitar up here. Kopitar, right there. Is he anywhere else? Headbert. Oh, he's already on the penalty kill. Um, Brendan Hayes. Um, Brendan Hayes. And there we go. That should fix everything. Four on four. Doesn't really matter. Three on three. Doesn't matter. Extra. Okay. <laughs> that would not been good. Uh, BS will be our extra attacker. All right. So there we go. Sadly, Conway is out with an injury. He uh, said what? April 15th, I believe. April 15th. So we're on the 9th right now. He doesn't come back till game four. All right. That's sucks that we don't have our top center for the next three games potentially, but... I know we can still play well. So, game number one, good start. There was kind of a drawback, though, take having Colin White being injured. But this team can play through it. So, game number two at home. Let's keep the good times rolling, boys. Come on. First period. Okay. Archer. Ooh, that hurts. And Zykov get two, but Forbes and Gallagher tie it up. So, shots are 5-16. to 16. We're piling the shots. But two shots, or two goals on five shots, that's not really good spot check. I need you to stop some more pucks, you know. All right, second period. Oh, and D'Angelo gets one. Yeah, they got a lot of shots that period. Shots that period, 18 to 19. So they take a 3-2 lead. We need one to tie it, boys. We need one to tie it. Spot check did not have a great start, but we need to help him out a bit. Power play, kill it off. Kill. Oh, five on three, five on four. Good kill, boys. We need one now. We need one. Somebody needs to tie it up for the Senators. Coming down to the final five minutes. Can somebody score one late? Anybody? Final minute? No, we can't. They shut the door on us. Lukanen had a great third period there. Darn it, man. All right, so we had Shabbat and Hayes to Forbes, and then Amito and Carlson to Gallagher. So not bad, but we just didn't have a finish. D'Angelo, Pekinen, and Forbes are your three stars for game number two. The series is tied back up. Look how much we missed White already, man. Oh, Derek Broussard, our injured elbow. Estimated return is April 18th. We can just throw somebody else in there because... um. He's just a depth player. He's not really playing uh, on the penalty kill or anything. Let's get fast in there. He'll do just fine. Man, we're taking some injuries, boys, to our to our veteran. Well, I guess Colin White's considered a veteran. All right. So look at that. He's injured, and he still has the most points on the team. <laughs> oh, what a goofball. What a goof. All right. So game three, we're at MSG. Series is tied. We're missing White, guys, but we need to, we need to show him that, hey, when you come back, we'll have this series all nice wrapped up for you to finish. Come on. First period. There we go. Bajork and Scrivens, and then Gallagher breaks the tie. So shots are 9 to 10. Second period. There we go. Jacob Verón. And what a great trade that is looking like so far. He scores one to give a decisive two-goal lead for the Senators in the third. Power play for the Rangers. We got to kill that off, boys. Good kill. 
Mike in the penalty kill the past few games. Get that power play goal. Ah, uh, nope. We don't get it. We don't get it. But that's okay. We still got a two-goal lead. Coming down the final five minutes here in game three. Can we hold them off? And I think spot check will be. Let's go with the empty netter. And there we go. Take a 4-1 victory in game number three. Very good spot check. That was a great game by you. Carlson and Hayes to Bork. Um, Parenko and Amito to Gallagher. Kopitar and Parenko to Verana. Carlson and Verana to Biesco. So Verana and Parenko had a very good game there. And your three stars are Gallagher, Verana, and Parenko. So, like I said, I like that game a lot more. We had, we had great defense and great offense mixing together. And look at the kid, Julian Biesco, leading the team in points with three points in three games. Tip my hat to you, sir. All right, multiple players are ready to be dressed. Is Colin White back? Is Colin White back? I don't want to throw him in. I Okay, we'll throw Bessard. We'll throw Bersard in, but um, we are not gonna throw in White yet. I want to wait till that uh that like little box thing goes away from his name because I don't want him to come back for this game and then get injured again. It's just something I wouldn't want to happen. So, all right, game four. We're still we're still away from home. We're still at MSG. This is a big game. It can either make the series two one or two one three one or two two. What are we gonna do, boys? Come on. <sighs> First period, ooh, Biesco and then Zabinijetting, Gar Gargulio and Godolman, yeah, 17 shots in that period, so defenseman, gotta, gotta help out your goaltender a bit, I don't think I can blame this game on spot check, shots are 8-17, second period, ooh, 3-1 shots, we caught up to him, but it looks like Lukanen is gonna shut us down this game, come on boys, let's make it one to keep it really close, get them nervous. If we want to get one, we need it now. <laughs> Power play for the first sentence. Come on, come on, come on. No, nothing. Haven't really scored a lot of third period goals in the series, which is a little concerning. Oh, man, the fans are going to rip on me for not putting Colin White back in this game as we suffer a 3-1 loss and the series is tied back up. Yeah, so Verona and Kopitar to Biesca. Darn it, man. And your three stars, yeah, Peckman played a great game. Gargulio and Kadolman. That, that 18-year-old on the fourth line pisses me off, man. Ah, Jesus. So, yep, we're going to go to game four here now. I think we're going to put Colin White back in because the series is tied. We got to put him back in. We have to. Kopitar has been playing great, but we just need him in now. Is he? Yep, he's all good now. Kopitar, you've been playing great on that first line. I thank you, but now you're going to gonna have to go back down to the third. So, um, get Hed Hedberg has a point? No. I'll take him out. Colin White, come on back, buddy. All right, so... Colin White, there you go. Um, Colin White, <laughs> Colin White, everywhere he goes. There we go. All right, so we have White back now. We have our top center. We need the man, the myth, the legend, Colin White, to, to help us take a lead back in this series now. So, game five, at home. It will, we'll either be on top in the series or on the bottom. We, I want to be on top. Let's go. First period. Ooh, interesting. No, no, not a goal in the first period. Shots are nine to thirteen. Second period, nothing. Shots are seventeen to twenty-seven. Come on, boys. Power play to start off the third. Haven't gotten a power play goal. Oh, darn it, man. We need one. Come on, we gotta. Come on, they're giving it to us now. Oh, you don't score, you goofs. Coming out of the halfway mark of the third, we have another power play, and they don't score, man. Their penalty kill on the Rangers is unbelievable. Come around the final five minutes. Come on. Get one late. Get one late. And we're going into overtime. Shots are 28 to 40. Come on, man. You got to get one pass, Wukanen. Just get one. All you need is one, boys. Shot. Come on. We are piling the shots on him. Spot check has given us the game to win. We have almost 50 shots. Score a goal, somebody. Halfway mark of overtime, and nobody can score a goal. We have... Yes, there we go. Bit of a delayed reaction. And Brendan Gallagher coming up clutch on the 49 shot for the Senators. And he wins it in game number five. Had a bit of a delayed reaction there. So Hoffman and Amito to Gallagher. So the whole second line stepped up there. Pekin and Spotcheck, they both played great. And then Gallagher with the game winner. Are your three stars for game five? And we take a 3-2 series lead. That is clutch, boys. That is clutch. So game six, we're in MSG. This is the game to shut the door. We do not want to go to a game seven. They will have all the motivation. So let's shut them down at home. Make it a horrible ending for them. Come on, boys. First period. Freaking Scrivens, their young star, gets a goal. Shots are 7 to 17. Second period. Mika Zabinijad's shots are 20 to 26, boys. We need some offense, boys. 
I don't care when we'll get it. If it's late, it's late. That's fine. Five on four killed off. That's a long power play. Come on. We got a power play. Sends. No, you don't. And there we go. Omido on the second line. Makes it a one goal game. Come on. Oh, you we need to score on that power play, boys. Come on. We got seven minutes remaining in the game. You can score one. You can score one. Make it a game. Come on. Let's force it into overtime, please. Two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds. No. And we're going to a game seven, boys. Oh, my God. So, Gallagher to Amito. Oh, man. Lukanen, he's just playing great. Lukanen, Zabinijad, and Spacek are three stars. Like, Spacek isn't even playing bad either. And we just need more offense, boys. Colin White, where have you been? Man, oh man. So, in the past three games, with Colin White on that first line, we have only had three goals. And Biesca has not gotten a point since I've split up him and Kopitar. Oh, I don't... I... Mm, we have game seven, boys. I don't know what to do. This is going to be a rough decision to, to make. So, Colin White. Colin White. He only has two assists. Kopitar has three points. He hasn't gotten a point ever since being taken off that first line. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? You know what? He's coming up. Kopitar, the 36-year-old vet, he's coming up to the first line. We'll move White up here. Um, Amita will go down, I guess. Wait, Gallagher has how many points? He has four. Hoffman, Hoffman has one. We're going to move him down to the third line. Um, <laughs> This is really... Uh, this is not good, boys. All right, get Hoffman right there. So there we go. That's what we're going to try to do. I don't know if it's going to work. I, I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, man. Do we get Hayes? Uh, Hayes has two assists. Just put him up there. We just got to get the best players we can. Put them, put them all together. Get the best lines we possibly can. Put Broussard at center. This is my best option. This is what I'm going with for game seven against the Rangers, boys. Oh, man. <laughs> We're at home, though. We have the home ice advantage, but they got the motivation. They just won a 2-1 game in game six. Come on, boys. Game seven, boys. Please, 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 let's just have a good start, please. First period, make his freaking Zabinajad, oh my god, you guys shouldn't have traded him all those years ago. Shots are 9-6, to six. oh. <laughs> Second period, oh, Bushnevich, I thought he was in, I thought he was a healthy scratch, they put him in, he scores a goal. But John Carlson, one of our veterans, gives us one. We need a big third period here, boys, tie up the game, power play, please. <laughs> Nothing, man. Come on, boys. We need a goal. We just need one power play. Please score a goal. John Carlson, he's having a game, man. Two-goal game. Ties it up with 10 minutes remaining. Come on. Come around the final five minutes. John Carlson, somebody score a goal for him. He's giving us all the hope we need. Down to one, two minutes, one minute. We're going into an overtime game. Seven shots are 28 to 33. Please, somebody for Ottawa. Score. Come on, man. Somebody, please. <laughs> please, no, 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 no. Killed off. Oh, good kill. Come on, somebody for Ottawa, please. Somebody for Ottawa, please. Please, halfway mark of overtime. We're nearing 40 shots. We need a goal, boys. We need a goal. Coming down to the final five minutes. Oh, my goodness. I'm losing my breath here. Come on. Please, we're going into double overtime. We're going into double overtime. Oh, my God. Ottawa, please, please score the goal. We need one. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. You have to be kidding me. Who was it? JT Miller. You should be on the freaking lightning right now. 46 shots, and you only scored two goals. You have to be kidding me. Oh, my God. I feel like the freaking Washington Capitals. Oh my god. And we lose in game seven. Everybody's going to be ripping me for not putting Colin White back in in freaking game four. Oh my god. B.S. going to Hoffman to Carl. Like freaking John Carlson. I feel bad for him. He's getting traded in the offseason. I feel so bad. He put. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> Pekinen, Scrivens, and Carlson are your three stars. Oh, my God, boys. You had all the opportunities to shut the door, and you didn't. Biesca, six points in seven playoff games. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, I, thought, I mean, we made it back to the playoffs. That's just such a disappointing way to end. The poor rookie. The poor rookie. The poor young star. Putting it all out there, and yet, I mean, who real, who really underperformed in this series? Eric Carlson, you could have got more points. Um, Mike Hoffman could have got a goal out of you. White was injured, but still, he could have got a goal or two. Shabbat, yeah, you really underperformed. Uh, mm, Mazora, 
Remember how I wanted to give Mazzara more ice time? He doesn't even get one point in the playoffs, and we just had Carlson have a two-goal game. Man, oh, man. Oh, spot like spot check played great. He he did great. He had a shutout. He was barely he was barely he wasn't even letting in about two. He was only letting in a goal in a seventh. He was barely letting in almost two goals. Oh, the offense just just failed, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that just sucks, man. It's such a heartbreaker for this for this team. But they made it back to the playoffs. Happy about that. So we're gonna send to the draft now. We'll, Show you the draft lottery, get that all out, all, out, all, all of that out of the way. I'm just lost for words after, after that. Oh man, <laughs> I'm lost for words, man. Well, boys, we only have year eight, nine, and ten left to win one more cup at least. Oh man, oh man. So let's see here. It's either it's either Stanley Cup. Or, sec or first round exit. So, in your Columbus Blue Jackets are the Stanley Cup champions. They probably went up against freaking New York in round number two. So, we all, wow, we are the biggest losers of the playoffs, basically. Oh, my God. What, what, a, what a rough way to go out. The freaking Rangers, they're like the 10 seed, the 11 seed, 12 seed even, and we freaking lose to them. So, there you can see the draft lottery. San Jose is drafting first overall. I don't even know if we have a first round pick. I think we may have traded it. I don't even know. <laughs> Let's see. Anybody retire? Any, uh, nobody retired. So we still got Kopitar for one more year if we choose to re-sign him. I think I want to re-sign him for one more year. It wouldn't hurt. If he, as long as he's not asking for $10 million. <laughs> So let's see. Your skaters that retired. Eric Stahl on the New Jersey Devils. Joe Pavelski. Bergeron. Carter. Sazny Williams. Oshie. Little. Sutter. Suter. Excuse me. Burns. Krejci. Bergwin. Bozak. For a leak. Okay. See all the big name forwards there. What about some goalies? Um, Luan, wow, forty-five. He was still going. Luongo and Lundqvist. Lundqvist wasn't even. He was probably in the AHL for him. Luongo, Lundqvist, quick. Wow. Uh, Hawak, Varlamov, Kincaid, man. Man, oh man, a lot of great goalies right there. Luongo, Lundqvist, and Quick retiring. He was a backup on the Jets. You know, thirty-eight years old, kept it going. <sighs> I'm just so sad now. <laughs> I'm just so sad. So, yep. Boyos, my goodness, what a, what, a, what a sad way to end it for this team to lose like that. But they had a good year. I'm happy they made it back to the playoffs. I couldn't ask of anything more. They did what I wanted them to. Hey, look at that. BS got to a 94 now. Where's, uh, oh, oh, Kopitar took a big hit. So let's see, who wants an extension? Mike Hoffman does. Oh, man. Uh, how much does he want? Two years at $5 million, I can do that. Let's see. You can see everybody who's going to be expiring here. Got to sign Gallagher. I think I'll sign him to a two-year deal. Oh, man. Kopitar, I don't think he's going to be coming back. Oh, that sucks, man. I really want... Uh, I didn't think he dropped, but, it, but he did. But he did. Oh, wow. This guy grew, so let's actually give him a contract. Yep, but what a sad way to uh, go out, boys. It sucked, but... Like I said, I'm happy. We made it back to the playoffs. This shows potential for year 8, year 9, and year 10 now. You never know what this team can do. The, just freaking New York, man. Of course. Of course they would. <laughs> that sucks. But, yeah, guys, there you go. Round 1 exit in 7 games. Sadly to the Rangers. Wish it didn't happen like that, you know. So, yeah, guys, smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.